everybody, Adam at Flash Building here. In today's lesson, we have Multiplane Easing Effects Tutorial, which will show you how to create multiplane easing with layers and different movie clips that will move at different speeds and it's mouse interactive. So you can see the planets move at a different speed and a different easing rate as the stars in the background, that star field. And then the spaceship in front here it's closest to us is moving at different speeds than everything else as well and oddly enough this is inspired by a video I watched on about Disney uh, Walt Disney himself was explaining the multiplane camera that they invented way back when and I was like hmm that's interesting so I've made a few files since then with this multiplane theory in my mind and I'm going to be doing one more and you can see you can read over here on the side I'm gonna do another one on this that targets the whole stage so you can do a full flash website like this awesome stuff okay so enjoy this tutorial and look for a part two of this kind of functionality and we'll discuss doing it for a whole flash website and more from scratch and it will gonna use an existing file here at develop PHP and just modify it a bit to achieve the effect so let's go and grab the I hit the flash tab there video tutorials and apps and in the uh, where is it image photo and picture gallery programming the magic pan windows file here and you can see what the magic pan windows file does I'm gonna snatch that up put it on the save it to my desktop or something let's close that Okie dokie, now let's open this thing up. I'm going to extract it folder to the desktop, and there it is. Okay, so I'm going to open up that file I just downloaded in Flash CS3. It works the same in CS4 because we're using ActionScript 3. And once it opens up here, we're going to notice that it has a movie clip on stage, and it's the only item there. And it's called Whole Magic Window in the library. It has no instance name because it's just a container to hold all the elements of this file. So you can move it around if you wanted it to be over here. That's just fine. And it still works just the same. That way, if you had a full flash website and you wanted this little area to be on it you can move it around alright let's set it in the center let's get our background to black and let's get that guy in the center the best we can doesn't have to be perfect let's move it up okay so we'll double click inside of it and that's really where everything is going on there's an action script 3 layer which controls here let me unlock these the action script 3 layer controls how this big image is panned under this activator window okay and the mask is what covers everything up so when the mask is set you can see only that section is seen and that's what makes the pan effect so what we're gonna do is realize that this clip is 800 by 800 we'll keep it just like that and its X positions Y and the I'm sorry X position 0 and the Y position 0 so let's double click inside of it remove that image control X now we're gonna put some let's just put another rectangle in its place that's like a little border make sure it's a zero zero and make sure it's 800 by 800 this is just to be a visual guide for us to where we know we can put all of our elements now let's go to the fill here and bring it all the way down the alpha that way it's clear completely all right. Now you see we just have like a border around that movie clip now. So let's stay inside of it here and make a new layer. And here we're going to put stuff. We're going to make two other movie clips like this one. And they'll each have stuff in them. And maybe layer one can just be that border there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so what I put into my stuff layer is just a series of dots that cover that whole 800 by 800 square and now uh, 
you can achieve that by painting or using primitives. I just use primitives. But you can paint it on there too. Alright, so if we go back into the whole magic window clip here where we have the mask and the activator again, we'll create a new layer above the star field layer. Well, I renamed it star field because that's what it is. Let's take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we have a star field that pans and zooms with the mouse. Or not zooms, but it pans around in all directions with the mouse. Now in this layer 6, we're going to create a... Actually, we can just take this one. Well, let's just create another rectangle. Make sure it's a 0, 0. And make sure it's 800 by 800. 800 by 800. And you'll see the, the contents inside of the, these movie clips can just have a section maybe, you know, really small. Maybe like that big, but inside here, where content is. But this would be just a container. So now we have 800, 800, 0, 0. Convert that to symbol. Let's call it clip 2 or whatever. That name isn't important. What is is the instance name here. So let's just call this clip 2. Clip 2 underscore MC. Control X, get it off of the star layer. Make sure we put it on layer 6 there. Control V. Now we can go inside that one get this movie clip or this symbol to have a black border like the other one and the bill all the way down then you make a stuff layer you lock that layer then make a stuff layer just like we did the other one and I'm gonna put some different stuff in here okay so in the stuff layer of my second movie clip I put a little spaceship looking thing and we can take a look at what that looks like and I can put many more things in here to fill up this 800 by 800 space but I'm just going to leave it like that for this layer, I think. So you can see what that looks like. Don't ask me what the hell kind of spaceship that is. <laughs> it's supposed to be going away from us, and those are the thrusters. Come on, I was just doing it real quick. Shut up. All right, now, so we have the spaceship. Now, as you go back into the ma whole magic window movie clip, we can name this one Spaceship. And then... Make sure we have an instance name on it of clip2 underscore mc. Let's name the first one clip1 underscore mc. Clip1 underscore mc. Alright, now in the code, I'm going to change a couple of things for this to say clip1 underscore mc. Good, good, easy enough. Now I'm going to copy those two lines, control C, and I'm going to change this to clip 2. And now I'm going to mess with the easing speed, watch this. And this is where the effect comes in. Easing speed, let's say, minus 5, let's see what happens. minus 5 for the X and the Y. Let's see a big pick. This needs to be clip 1 underscore MC. Clip 1. Big pick, clip 1. Anything that says big clip or big pick, we change to clip 1. Alright, uh, that looks good. This one's clip two. Okie dokie. Now let's press control enter. So you can see. Isn't that cool? It's like the stars and the ship being on different layers and having different ease speeds makes a cool effect. Now you can change that number to, I don't know, plus. see what that does control enter see that gives it a little smoother effect but you can still see it's on different layers 
and it eases at the end at a different speed. It's pretty cool. Now I'm going to add one more layer. Okay, so now I made the planets layer, and so the order of things are star field is on the bottom, planets above that, and spaceship is above that. And then I have the code in there. Press F9 for clip 3 underscore MC, which is my planets layer. And now let's look at what we have, and then I'll explain a couple of things. So you can see inside of that clip that whenever the mouse is over it, those three layers will all move at different easing speeds and position things in relation to one another to make it look like it's more in a 3D space maybe a little bit it's just a fun effect that some, some of you guys might have fun with some of you guys might say there's no use for that at all and that's cool too but I just want to throw it out there because sometimes you see this effect okay so in the code let's talk about this Clip 1 MC where we have the bounds up here and everything that can stay clip 1 underscore MC as long as all of those movie clips are the same size which all three of our movie clips that we made were 800 by 800 and it's also important to note that the activator window needs to be half the size of those movie clips and if you're going to make it different sizes uh, then you would have to change your math up which I'm not going to show you how to do. That's all on you to get creative and do. But let's go into the main scene and you can see we can drag this thing anywhere now. It'll work anywhere in the scene. So if we have a full flash website, let's put it in this corner. So, you see? It all works just fine. And if you wanted it to fill a large area, you just make your activator window as large as the area you want and make the movie clips twice that size. It's very simple. Make sure your movie clips are at zero zero on the stage though. Okay, so that about wraps it up. I'll have the source files available so you can get to it. Download if you want to see my example uh, files that I made here for reference. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.